All right, I'm an absolute sucker for this game. Let's do a let's do a couple more runs. I want to try out some characters that I haven't actually played before. I don't know how often I'm going to put out my videos for Gunfire Reborn, but it seems like a good idea for me to put a little bit more time into this game and actually master it or something. After hitting an enemy, three arrows are launched at enemies behind the target. Uh, that's kind of useful. Cloud Weaver. Nah, let's go for this. Bows are fun, but uh, I, I just, I don't know, something about the throwing throwing knives. Oh, oh, it's this one. Oh, it's this one. I remember be these being really fun. I don't know if I can get them to be faster, but I mean, when, when Yondu, Yondu, all I need is just perfect accuracy or something to that extent. All right, do we have anything else here? I'm trying to be somewhat thorough, but eh. I just, let me see, okay, cards. Okay, that's cooled down. So we've got some auto-aim cards that I can chuck out, too. That seem to just hit whatever the nearest enemy is. Alright, cool. And I can actually pop that open. I'm honestly just going to recycle this. Until I get something actually worth something, I'm probably just going to focus on these. So what do we have? When consuming the last ammo in the magazine, clear one random astro aspect, and the shot causes enemies to take 20% extra damage. So do Reduce cooldown when clearing an impure Astro House. Otherwise, 20% cooldown. 500 enemy to the highest HP within the area of Falling Star for every hit caused by Falling Star. I, the problem is I don't know how Astro Aspect works as well. Like, I truly don't quite... I don't really know what I'm doing with half of these things. I feel like this is probably worth it. I don't know what my astro aspect whatever stuff. Oh, it's the things at the bottom. There we go, and I've got a really obscene AoE. Why is this character actually just an absurd wizard? Okay. Reduce damage taken for every amount of HP lost. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, it looks like I generate traits underneath my, um... I generate traits underneath my stats. Oh! Based on usage of cards. And that generates a bigger and better AoE for me to potentially use. Maybe. I seem to have three at the moment. that I can potentially use. Just send that off. I... Cripes? And it looks like... It looks like I can use it as much as I want, but if I use three cards, it becomes much, much stronger. Throw the weapon for an explosion. I mean, eh, eh, eh. Yeah, I guess I should just be hucking cards out left and right. Okay, would like to break that. Because I might as well be using my AoE. Unless I miss. At which point that sucks a smidge. Okay, extra base damage of Falling Star, 4 Astro Cast capacity, 5 reserve cards after summoning 10 cards. Max shield for every slot. For every slot? When taking damage, there's a chance to be immune to it. I might actually want to pick that up a little bit. Ooh, that's some beef. I'm not quite sure what per slot means. Uh, unfortunately, between the translation on this game, uh, there are some aspects of this that I'm actually just going to have some... I'm going to have some trouble interpreting what they're supposed to mean. Not that it really bugs me in one way or another. 
Extra lucky shot chance, but reduce damage when you don't make a lucky shot. Yeah, sure. I'll make do. How have I gotten, like, so good at that? I remember the first time playing this, I was in... I was just always slightly in shambles trying to go through. And now it's just cakewalk? I don't know. Gotten used to it in other things. I'm just gonna... Oh, lose some shield, apparently. Excuse me, sir. Fine. Be that way. Took my shields off, rude. Keep recycling that. Was there anything else of any immediate merit or note over here? The answer is no. Okay, can I actually get that to hit? Yeah, kind of. There we go. It takes a little bit of getting used to th these weapons, because sometimes they don't want to behave. Most of the time, they're fine. But every once in a while, they're like, nah, I don't feel like it. Okay, so this weapon does actually require reloading. That is something to keep in mind. Unlike throwing knives and stuff. Give an occult scroll for a luxurious box. Give one occult scroll, replace all normal inscriptions, or... Hmm... Let's get rid of something. I'm probably gonna go for preemptive strike. Ooh, or not. All of these are good. I might actually want to get rid of persistence. I got snow boots. Immunity to slows and reduce damage from traps. I actually kind of like that. And I guess I might as well etch this one. Just, it's free. I mean, oh, but I can't, I can't improve its Gemini, I mean, I'll upgrade it anyway, but I can't improve its Gemini inscriptions if it doesn't have one. So ultimately, unless we get really, really lucky, we're kind of out of, out of luck and can't get any more, but that's probably fine. Yeah, I'm just going to try and keep a supply of cards up at all times. So I guess I should be using my AOE a lot more often. Alright, portal's been open. Another goblet. Recover five shield for every astro aspect obtained. That's not a bad idea. 10, 15, and 20% weapon and skill damage for every astro aspect obtained. I don't know. Let's go for Lucky Day. I, I'm going to assume Astro Aspects are very much the... Uh, the little perks at the bottom. I'll have to see if I can bank more of them, because I could actually see that being very helpful, probably. Right, do we have... Do we have friends? Okay, I don't think I want anything to do with that boy. Oh, yep. He do damage. He do a lot of damage. Oh, boy. Alright, I'm just gonna... Oh, because I don't have the, the triple anymore. Get some more cards. Drop that on him. If I can do a bunch of damage to his face. There he goes. Ooh. Alright, this is worth it. He was tough, but we're good. Secondary skill can be used any number of times. Ah. But if the number of uses is insufficient, it'll damage me. I'll still pick it up. I don't think that's bad. I should probably... Pick a new weapon. Ooh, if all projectiles and attacks in this shot and skill hit the enemy, the next weapon skill will be enhanced. Let's just go for that one. I think that's a sniper. Yeah, if it's got a scope, it's a sniper. Alright, so what does this give me? Extra elemental damage for every enemy, nearby enemy with an elemental effect. 
When reloading, reduce damage taken, more speed, or whenever an ammo is picked up, refills the magazine instead of reserve ammo. And increases your movement speed until reload. Ooh. I think I'm still gonna go for elemental convergence. I don't know what kind of range that is, but uh, elemental effects get pretty nasty if done correctly. Oh, I guess we're coming out the way we came in. I feel like this owl is judging me. I know it's unfounded, but it just looks like he... It looks like he's looking at me and thinking like, yeah, you need some practice. And I know I need practice. All right, good gun. Hello, sucker. Okay, wait, hold up. Oh, that's fun. Okay, so we've got a treasure vault. We also have this, which is very worth it and really good. There's one thing I really like about the, uh, these weapons, I mean, especially this one, is, uh, well, I really like the throwing knives because they benefit from both first in clip and last in clip bonuses. And those don't go, like, they don't go away because you don't reload this thing. It's just forever one ammo. And that's really useful for some of those damage bonuses. Plus, they're also just really fun. Lucky shot chance against enemies that are affected by an elemental effect. Yup. Let's get over here with my massive quantity of money. Why do I have so much? I have no idea. Card pack supply, bunch of weapons, don't care. Reduce HP per second when your shield and armor is full. Airbag. That's terrible. Right? I have no idea what that does, but it... Everything from that feels bad. And I've, I've done this vault, yeah? Yeah, we did this one. I kind of wish it would actually go away if you've cleared it. Or change color, like turn gray. That's fine. Okay, where am I going? Probably not this direction. I think I just went a little too far. I guess I might as well drop the AOE on them. Oh, I was hoping it would actually track or something, because that would be really nice. I think it does actually track, too. I'll have to see if there's other better options. I definitely think the Artisan is the better character of the one I've seen so far. But I'm not hating too much. Oh, that did not do nearly enough damage. I'll definitely have to see if I can get some more of the big damage perks for it. And make it that much better. Okay, do we have anything cool here? No. Just a blue, blue flame for reasons. And yeah, the nice part is I can harm myself just slightly to spend some more cards here. There we go. I'm just gonna... Nope. Oh, right. These have, like, a delayed explosion effect. That's how they work. I remember they were kind of funky. And threw me off a little bit. They're really solid and do a ton of damage. But they're not quite as, uh... They're not quite as immediately zippy as the prism is. Oh, that... That's a shield, dude. That's fine. I just want to get the horse lords. Dang. And my, uh... Charge shot doesn't do nearly as much damage as I'd like it to. Scalpel? Nah. Anything up high? I think you can go up there. Let's grab the money over here first. Alright. Yeah, there is stuff up here. I am glad I came to check... I mean, it's just a chest, but still. Gain a random rare scroll or a luxurious gift box. Ooh. 
Let's just buy the legend. Let's see what we get. We got flesh and bones. Beef chunk. Sure. I'm sure there's a reason why you don't want it, but from my perspective, it's solid, especially if I can stack more max HP. Let's see. Obtain one Astro Aspect when refilling the magazine. Extra damage. Max shield for every slot. Oh, I see. Just how many of these I've upgraded. That's why I haven't been taking all the damage. I kind of want to try this. Yep. So every second I just get an Astro Aspect now. So we are no longer reliant on scrolls. And that's probably really good. I hope there wasn't anything else I was supposed to grab there. I don't think there was. Buns never recover full HP. Whenever you inflict a burning effect, you also get set on fire. But burn also gives me life steal. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. There's also prism, but I don't think I care. Uh, let's see. Do we want to etch this glimmering? Sure. This would make it really good. I know rip my money, but we'll get more. And... Luwu. Sup, Chunker? I'm here to do egregious harm to you in your face. Now, no, I can't actually, in fact, get my cards to actually hit him here. And now I'm on fire, but that doesn't really bug me much. I'll just use the cards to get rid of the be beetles. You cannot stop me. I'm too fire. Ow. We do actually need a little bit more juice. This character is not exactly your beefiest of fellows. Alright, what's this one? Double damage taken, but damage from each hit won't exceed 14% of max HP. Sure. Now max HP no longer matters as much. Okay, so we do have an arc light, which... Chance to create a lightning ball on hit. Extra damage. Yes. Okay, so this one does the extra damage against enemies that are decayed. Let's see. Okay, so that's the lightning throwing... Throwing dagger. Yeah, let's just get rid of those. Anything else? No. I was expecting some more, uh, some more scrolls out of that one. Oh well. But this should be a reasonably good throwing dagger. Oh. Okay. And now all I have to do is somehow get this to give me, uh, fire as well. And then I will be truly unstoppable. Bye? What else is shooting me? Oh, there's a healing powerful monster just hanging out there. Anything else? There's ragdolls freaking out. Ah, there is. There is something else. Kind of in the far back. Hard to see. Ooh, and a peddler. Okay, gain immunity to all curse scrolls. I like that. Movement speed and damage when your shield and armor is zero. Doubles the time. The, yeah. <laughs> I'm just really fast now. I still want the uh, double jump if I can get it. It's slightly rare, which is something I'm slight, slightly grumpo about, but whatever. I like these little Tesla balls. Okay, so all enemies turned into a desert boar when killed. All right. I gotta work on that. Make that a little bit better. Did I get stuck on my, my own lightning ball? Or is it a bonus damage for jumping over an enemy? I don't know. One way or another. Hello, foe. I guess I'm just, just gonna focus on the hermit for the time being. Give him the blast. Unfortunately, the blast is not as good as I'd like it to be. Yeah, 
I gotta work on my skill damage. Alright. Damage is good. Hit him in the back. Stop hitting in the back. Doesn't matter. And we're golden. Sick. Now, do we have a bonus chest? Sometimes there's a second chest in here, but I'm not seeing it. I'll have to double check. Reduce max HP and max shield and armor, but extra revives. Let's reset this one. We've got to be able to get it better. Every time your skill attack deals damage, you'll inflict additional damage based on how much copper you currently own. For every enemy, the additional cool uh, skill damage occurs up to one time every three seconds. Alright, so that means I now can no longer spend money. I think I'll only buy perks, but I think I might skip weapon upgrades. And that seems fine. That seems fine to me. Like I said in my last video on this, I was legitimately kind of concerned about the idea of playing on a higher difficulty. Like, elite mode seems like it might be a bad move. No, it seems fine to me. Uh, maybe it was just... I think it was just before I had all of the meta progression for this game. Everything kind of sucked a little. And I've been leery ever since. It cannot etch further. Oh, weapon's already been etched. The problem is I want more. Actually, I don't know. I can I can do better better. Oh, it's this one. This one has not been etched. Yeah. Oh! It's got the Gemini. Plant spores on hit. The amount of spores is equivalent to on hit projectiles and projectiles of other weapon. When the amount reaches 30, it deals additional weapon damage to the target. I might actually have to enhance that one. Eh, uh, fine. I've never done a spore round anyway. Because I know I get bonus damage based on how much money I have, but on the flip side, it does actually seem pretty worthwhile for me to invest into this specific weapon. Let's get rid of that. Is there another enemy back here? I think there is. Is there anybody left? No. Weird. Well, there's this. Icy Spear. I mean, I do like it. The Icy, the icy Spear is legitimately one of the better weapons in the game. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Like, I like the Glimmering, but yeah, let's get rid of it. Okay. Dang, Spear is upsettingly strong. Upsettingly strong. I'll have to etch it and see if I can get it to actually do the right thing. But yeah, that, that crit damage on the... on the recall is upsettingly good. It's absolutely murder on pretty much anything. And the fact that, like, even missing gives me a pretty absurd, uh, little, like, damage AoE. To just cook whatever's, uh, let's see, whatever's still in the area. It, uh, it real good. Okay, Goblet has. When consuming the last ammo in the magazine, clear random astro aspect and the shot causes enemies to take 20% extra damage. Ten percent damage for every shot, every slot, plus one one and one point five percent weapon damage for every normal, rare, legendary cult scroll. Curse scrolls gain a random bonus. I don't actually know if that's that good. I mean, that's like an extra thirty percent damage bonus. That is that is good. Now, did we have? any of the bonus zones. There's one at the very beginning. Is there only one per region? I guess I'm gonna have to assume as such. See, I'm not, I'm not seeing any glowing cracks. I don't want to spend forever hunting for these things either. Much as I want the power bonus. I really gotta play this boy again. I want to dual wheel bricks. Because I feel like that could be really funny. Oh, I missed. Oh, no. 
he just explodes over time. Okay, don't care too much about him. Everything else is good. Go to this. Uh, let's see, etch. Nope. Don't have enough money. Oh, there's there's more foes in this area. What? What killed me? Like, it does feel like there are just some random moments where I get one shot here. And that's always kind of just a bad feeling. Unless I was, like, somehow radioactive and, like, having a bad time. I don't know. Oh, waves of monsters. Gotcha. There we go. Well, luckily we can revive. It just cost me meta progression. But I really, really wish I didn't have to. Because I do need that those meta upgrades for goodies. Okay, I don't know if I can get to this guy. Sir, thank you. Okay, we've got a vault. Do we have more? Yes, we do. Just toss that. Stay away from the arsonist. Toss some abilities at him. And there's the arsonist. And all that's left is just a sniper and a big bird. Ow. Never mind, Blackface Bandit. Big damage. And gone. There we go. Elite Invasion. Oh, new buddy. Oh, it's you. Hello, you. Feels like that did not do nearly as much damage as I would have liked it to. ult on him. It doesn't do as much damage as I'd like, but his armor's gone. Okay, so what do we have? Curse scroll, weapon with at least an exclusive inscription. Ooh, replace. It has to be on this one. Yeah, it's even more seems worth it. We've lost a little bit. And if I remember right, occult scroll-wise, I'm immune to the cursed ones. Immunity to all cursed scrolls. Heck yeah, you can't keep me down. Alright, so let's get rid of most of these. We have the Crimson Fire Scale. I just unlocked this one. I mean, it's neat. I'll have to use it at some point, just not this one. Okay, then there is you. Some money and a goblet. Card capacity, chance to summon three cards and obtain an Astra aspect of the current quality after a shot hits an enemy. Cool down two seconds. When consuming the magazine, capacity is an aqua accumulated quantity. Shoot a holding card and reset the accumulating process. Summon two extra cards with Astra Forecast for every Astra Aspect with normal or better. Summon an extra card. Or Card Storm. I, my big issue is I don't know how Astro Aspects even work. But I do feel like Under Control sounds kind of fun. Now I got five cards. Okay. There. Now we got spores. Feels like this still needs some more stuff. Oh, this is a fire spear. I didn't even... Think of that. Well. No, I guess I should spend my money. I'll enhance this spear. Okay, and we also have a star devourer, but I don't care. 
And we've got a portal here. Ooh, seems like it's an elite fight. Is that an enemy? No, that's not an enemy. Oh yeah, I'd be having a lot of cards. Honestly, it works for me. Watching those enemies get discoed. Okay, Elite Hermit. Yeah, I don't know if the spores are actually, like, good. I'm going to assume that they're actually pretty do- oh boy. I think I murked him. Oop. Everything is exploding now. Thunderstorm. Gemini, crit weapons, extra damage against enemies and elemental effects. Like, some of these would be really cool, but we'll have to leave it for a subsequent run. Jet Octopus. I feel like Jet Octopus is almost... Wait. Yeah, we definitely have a chest here. Jet, opt jet, bleh, jet op Octopus is 100% a Mega Man villain. It's not, but feels like it should be. Um... Reset these. See what else we have. When hitting an enemy, 10% chance to deal 15% of the H enemy's HP is true damage, up to 2,000 a hit. Yeah, it sounds kind of fun. All right, I think we're out of things to do in this immediate area. It's uh, a lot of loot. I'm fettying out. There we go. What is that? What is going on up there? I have no idea. I think I need to worry too much. Ooh, shotgun. Oh, I wonder if I got killed by, like, a, a full clip of the shotgun. And that's what did me in. It might have. I'm almost wondering if specifically spores on hits equal to on-hit projectiles and projectiles of other weapon... When the amount reaches 30, additional weapon damage to the target. I'm thinking that's actually bad. There it is. Maybe spores are good. I don't know. But the sharing elemental effect is really good. Because now we have... It's not a guaranteed chance of setting enemies on fire. But we're going to be doing whatever the Electro Blast way more often. And now I'm going to be setting things on fire, which should give me a decent chunk of life steal too. Yeah, I think this is the right call. See if I can. There we go. What's he got? First shot after 10 seconds does crit. Sure. Not like really jonesing for that one, but it's not terrible. Random weapon. Random normal inscription with a rare inscription. Yeah, let's go for that. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Oh, let's see. Don't think I see anything up here. I don't see any weird portal cracks. Oh, that's not the peddler. There we go. I like the little lightning balls. They're not that amazing, but they take out they take out the trash. Okay, anything back here? No. I'll just keep looking. It'll show up at some point. Right, I also have to remember to use my cards. Since hey, there it is. Can I just go in, like right now? Oh yeah. So rather than having to go back, I can just come back here. Cool. Here's the thing. I heal very fast. Of course, doesn't work if I goof it. Also, secret? Secret. Unfortunately, timed secret. Though, not nearly as bad as that other one. Alright, extra damage for every copper I have. 
fewer remaining bullets in the magazine, higher the weapon damage. I think I'm going to go for Unfettered Will. Unfortunately, that means I now have to truly never spend money on anything except for perks. No weapon upgrades, no nothing. Lucky Shot Chance if you don't own any Curse Scrolls. Max Shield and Armor for every Curse Scroll you own. Sure. Good and evil. I mean, who cares if I get Curse Scrolls? They ain't, they ain't gonna affect me. Let's give him that. Unfortunately, that nuke is not particularly good. I gotta actually get the requisite upgrades to make it better. Okay, there we go. Give them some electro friendship. Post him from behind. This is quite the crew coming after me. There we go. I was trying my best. Worked enough. Alright, Goblet gives me. Chance to obtain two times as many through Astro Cast. Eh. Extra capacity. If Falling Star is an impure Astro House, replace one lowest quality with a wild aspect. Chance to replace two. No, I'm going to go for Under Control. More cards. Yeah, I haven't quite gotten to the point where... I understand how my E move is supposed to work, unfortunately. It's like, it very much is something that I want to figure out, but the translation is just junky enough that I, well, I don't know if I'd call it junky enough. It's just a little ambiguous. Damage will stationary, nah. Reduce dash cooldown, oh yeah, I'm gonna pick that one up. I also have brick, but I don't care. Yeah, the only problem is these weapons are probably going to end up out of date, which sucks a little, but what else am I supposed to do? It had... it's bird! Cook the bird. Bird dog. Okay. There we go. Keep chucking cards. It looks like the cards will hit him regardless, which is kind of nice. Nope. Come back. There we go. I like it how it dies. Barfs items. Or, you know, runs out of HP, starts barfing items. Then dies. Extra crit. Reduce weapon damage when not triggering a crit. Weapons with scope gain two times zoom. Oh. Actually, this one good. No, it has no elemental effect, so it, it bad. This one does corrosion damage. I mean, I do like the porcupine. It has a chance of doing decay. The main thing is, which would I give up? Because I, I could get rid of the Icy Spear. Do I want to? Because I don't know what Lightning and Corrosion do together. Yeah. Sure. I've been using this spear enough. When the probability of impure Astro House is 100%, fill all empty slots and clear the Astro House. After clearing the Astro House, there's a chance to gain 20% weapon skill. Or... No, let's go for Arcane Shot. Yeah, let's reset this one. When hit by enemies, reduce movement speed. Chance to be immune to all damage. Yeah, I'll do that. It's going to slow me down, but I already have a invulnerability shield every couple of seconds. Add that in, I take even less. I guess in retrospect, that one's maybe not actually that good.
not hating it. I mean, currently most things cannot do too high of damage to me. Okay, Porcupine is stupid. What the hell's going on? I am very strong. I'll give it that. Okay, keep that in mind. Move over here. Thunderclap gloves. Nah, I'm good. Alright, can I etch this thing? I can. I'll do it. Sure. I know I should be hoarding money, but... It's just too fun messing around with all the different weapon combos. And seeing which ones are good, which ones are not. I'm noticing sometimes I just kind of miss for reasons. The kickback on this gun is something. Just does not matter. Okay, how many waves? I have no idea. Looks like the monsters heal over time, too, but yeah, that, ain't, that ain't stopping me. Nope, that's not an enemy. Wow, this, this gun's, like, real fun. I can't tell how much damage it's doing, but I know it's a lot. Because, uh, nothing surviving. Alright, so what's this one? Reloading deals current weapon damage to enemies within an 8 meter radius. For every half second spent reloading, additional damage is dealt. Sure. I'm actually reloading with this weapon. Okay, where are we going? Is this away? Yeah, the porcupine, does it fire a slug? Like an arc, a somewhat arc slug? No, it's a straight shot that then explodes into a bunch of smaller shots. And I have no idea what the alt fire on it does. I can figure out. Oh, I see. It's just the proper shotgun. That's fair. Not particularly practical here, but fair and fun. Nah. Okay, anything else? No. I don't think so. I don't know if you get more than one portal per roll, uh, per region. Okay, that did, that do damage. Did it? Actually, I have no idea. Compared to gun at the moment, I don't think it does that much. There's definitely some, like, characters and classes that feel like they're really strong with it, with abilities. This guy, I don't know, I think he's just a little too esoteric for me. But I do have a really solid build, all the same. And I can just chuck card. Mucho card. Yeah, so I think if I'm in really close range, I should probably use the spread shot. There we go. I don't think he can hit me from there. Fool. Alright, where are we going? Uh, let's see. 10 card holding capacity? Yeah, summon... I don't know what the 10 plus 10 cards... Oh! As in, like, how much secondary ammo can I carry at once? That's gotta be it. Either way. This should put me in a position to summon entire freaking decks. Oh! It does seem to scale at least somewhat based on how many scrolls I have. We might want to try and... not use my E ability. Just stack cards like crazy. Okay, ooh. Rip money. Oh, 
I have no idea if the, those are actually better. But it doesn't really matter too much to me. Cards! I mean, it's kind of nice to just have oodles of cards that I just have to... Uh, just have a bunch of cards that, that just kind of wipe out anything that I'm remotely near. Good for taking out trash mobs. And, like, the little dudes I don't want to deal with. Probably should have waited. Elite Lobster, you say? Well, that worked out. I think I've never fought him before. Okay, so... Ooh. Dual Fang. Does have the corrosion ability. But this this one does corrosion. Yeah. So we can't we can't use the dual fang. That has nothing. Every ten seconds, flame pulse, two hundred fire damage, and inflict burning effect on all enemies it passes through. Sure. I don't mind hoop. And star ring, but no elemental effect, so meh. Okay, there should be a... There's a chest. Alright, so what do we got? Three stacks of lightly shield every 30 seconds. Each in negates incoming damage that consumed afterwards. You can only have up to three. Extra damage for every elite or boss you've defeated or assisted. Yeah, I'm gonna grab this one. Elite Assassin. I don't know if that applies retroactively, but we still have at least a couple of elites and bosses to kind of churn through here. Presumably. Hopefully it applies retroactively, just because it would be so much worse if it didn't. Let's see. Sawblade. And eh, nah. More cards. Chuck the whole deck at them. It's like the angry version of 52 pickup. Okay, what is that? Eh. Nah. Like, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get something with a very high elemental effect, but... If you think you can grab me. Illegal. Cards. I don't actually know what the red ones do. They're like wild scrolls or something. Ow. Ooh. Okay, S stuff happened there. I guess I should try and clear out the monks. Because if they're dead, they don't summon anymore. I think we're good. Alright, Goblet gives me. See, I don't actually care about Star Sparkle at this moment. Uh, and I can't re-roll these, can I? guess I'm gonna go for Star Blessing, even if it's mostly useless to me. Boy, I just deleted a man. Hey, Bedler. What do you got for me? Nothing of note. Well, that makes my life easy. Let's see. Kill 10 umbrellas with a crit. I should probably go back for that item at some point. I'm just going to refresh my cards every once in a while. I don't actually care too much about the the damage. Let's see what this is. Crit after taking damage 50 times. Crit bonus lower stat. Plus half a percent. I mean, sure. I think it's still a, a net positive. I'm not entirely sure. There we go. Do we have... Yes. Like, do we have the elite yet? And the answer is no, but we do have enemies that I can be shooting. That's something to do. Hello, foe. I should probably reload. 
Bye. <laughs> Whenever you spend copper, you get 30% of it back. Ooh. Yeah, let's pick that up. Drill. Nope. Justice. Extra projectiles. High chance of burning. Which actually would be pretty good. But alas, I'm pretty happy with my weapons and I don't really want to re-roll for a Gemini inscription. But I could go for a better one at some point. After dealing weapon damage to an enemy, 40% skill. That's good. Phantom skin. Stack is consumed whenever you take damage, restoring your shield and armor. Nope. While moving, faster move. You, the faster you move, the less damage you take. Sure. I move pretty fast, I think. Crap. I think I auto killed that craft. Oh, arrogant lobster. Not for long, sucker. There he goes. What's we have here? Resources. I think I was thorough. I think I was thorough. Maybe not Henry David, but still. What's this? Oh. Yeah, I really like the the uh. I really like the porcupine weapon. It's actually legitimately one of the more interesting ones. Even though it's really just like a slug launcher, the uh, the ricochet nails are obscene and do a lot of damage. Let's see. Anything else? A couple of coppers. Boy. Like, every time I play this game, I feel like I can't get stronger than that. And then every time I come up with a more powerful build. I say I come up with it, but I don't actually feel like I really earn these builds. Like, there are some games where the cho choices you make very much define what your build is. This one is a little bit more of just kind of like a, a wee goofy now. I guess I can I can re uh, re-roll moves. Oh, I guess he dead. Cool. We'll get another ice spear, but no thank you. It's not very good. Reduce magazine ammo per second. Gains a stack after reloading. Each stack plus 10% weapon damage. Stops consuming when the magazine... Eh, let's re-roll that one. Let's see if I can get something better. Eh, I'm not dashing that much. Oops. I didn't know that's what happened when you tried re-rolling it twice. It just goes away. Eh, it's fine. Let's see, why don't we actually get Persistence? Because the impure ones are actually kind of bad for me. Alright, new boss? Or same boss? Nah, same boss. And I'll pick it up anyway. We scale based on perks. Do I actually want to increase? Um, oh, 46 times 26. That is a big damage bonus. Is it the boat again? It the boat again! I feel like this is a Neo boss. Am I alone in that one? Probably not. Alright, sup, Hambone. Alright, aim for the cannons, I guess. Wow. My cards hate this thing. Like, so much. Who's even left? Oh, I see. I need the... I need the shell. There we go. I'm just gonna chuck endless cards at this boy out. Alright, where are ya? There you are, lunch octopus. And this guy used to be uh, a problem.
Nope. Ain't, ain't done yet. Gotta get one more shell. Because of course not. Of course I can't just kill him. We have to play the mini game. Die, nose! Oh, he ain't dead yet. There he goes. Nice and easy. Now the question is, do we continue on to the uh, DLC fight? Maybe, probably. Like an hour ain't bad for a run, but it's like one more zone for stuff. I feel like I should, just because. Okay, reduce damage taken for three damage, uh, three seconds upon taking. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, let's see, nope. Also, nope. Yeah, I should probably try the sword. Maybe I should have. Oh well. And let's go for Arcane Shot 3. So I believe this is how we fight Bear. Ah, damn it. We might get killed by Bear. We will see. Is that Kung Fu Monkey? Is that what their name is? I have no idea. on you I feel like I've gotten even stronger somehow which is odd because I was pretty much just beasting everything previously okay and I gotta quickly go back and give this a secondary ogle just in case there's this whole kind of back section that I need to make sure there are no portals hiding back here nope looks like we're good Yeah, I'm trying to be reasonably thorough, even though, yeah, once again, I can just kind of blitz it. There was a gunsmith back there, but yeah, they are kung fu monkeys. It's just literally their names. Huh. I thought I imagined that at first, but I didn't have any more surviving that I could actually confirm with. Okay, I still don't see any any monster portals. I the penguins are really cute and kind of ludicrous. Okay, so I do have to watch out for anything with the flamethrower style weapon. Because those are the one thing, that's the one thing that can kill me. Oh, my loot, come back. Who said you could roll away from me? Yeah, I abuse inanimate objects. When I was a kid, I used to like listening to loud music. Uh, we'd move a lot, so we'd have a ton of cardboard boxes sitting around. Just, I was gonna say getting stale, but I don't know, getting old and dusty. And so, uh, I had convinced my parents to let me get a drum set, per se. Ooh. I think this is just a full-on upgrade to my previous one. I guess we don't get the extra lightning ball, but that damage upgrade is pretty big, yeah. I will miss the porcupine, but I think this does more damage. Bye? There's the portal. Let's just go in. I notice it's a lot of, like, fight zones after a certain point. It's not, um... The, I think the porcupine might actually do more damage. But yeah, not a lot of puzzle dungeons here. And I'm not hating that.
Yeah, Porcupine does does more damage. You're shooting me through the rock, rude. Alright, anything else? No. Alright. And my problem is it's hard to carry on a or keep my train of thought here. As there's just enough chaos going on that I'm like getting distracted constantly. And so it's hard to string words together. Extra weapon damage when secondary skill count is zero persists 12 seconds above zero. It's not actually really good for me, to be honest. But what else am I going to do? Oh, I see. That one's immortal. They do the bomb thing. Is that a UFO? Get out of here. I think I think it's mainly with the uh, porcupine. All of those extra shots are mostly just shredding. Like they come back and and hit. I'd have to double check to see like how functional it is. But from my perspective, it seems like the. Um, Oh. It won't let me pick anything else. Alright. Sure. Why, I don't know. Oh, well, I'm sure somebody else can tell me why. Oh, there's a cave. Can't go in it. There's also a red chest. Okay. Ooh. Get a curse scroll, gain a weapon. No. We want to replace a non-exclusive. Probably with the porcupine. Hitting enemies with projectiles accumulate stacks. When it reaches 25, a certain amount of additional projectiles will be generated and fired at the same targets. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Yeah, those ex exclusive inscriptions are fascinating and really strong. I think I'm just going to start using my smith to upgrade this thing. I know I get bonus damage based on how much money I have, but I also gain bonus damage from having a good gun. I think it's more important for me to have a good gun at the moment. Also, I got a 30% discount. There we go. Plus 11. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I've still got plenty of money. I'll have to try the dual wielding dude again. Uh, nah. I bet he's actually stunningly good now. Rid of the flying saucer, and also the many walruses. Okay, stay away from that sucker. Yeah, flamethrowers and ice throwers represent a fairly existential threat to my survival. Okay, where am I going? Up here? Up here. Mandrill Cavalry. Oh, it's a penguin on top of a giant monkey. That's the deal. Alright, just kind of keep my distance. They really can't cope, can they? I mean, most things can't. I think I am thoroughly overpowered at this moment. Alright, got anything else? Got another one of these. Random rare scroll, luxurious gift box, absolutely. What do we get? Extra skill damage every time you purchase something from the peddler. Alright, we are no longer shopping from the peddler anymore. Which is fine. I mean, if it's like a really good scroll, I'll go for it. I say as I then find the peddler. Chances are they're not going to have anything amazing, though. I mean, if it's better than a 5% damage up, then I'll... then I will 100% pick it. Oh, 
Okay, get rid of that. I don't want to go too far. But the endless parade of enemies fighting me are making it hard not to. Let's go back for a second. Sword? Nah. Okay, what do you have? I think I care about those. Nope. Cool. And this is the risk of turning your back against penguins with ice throwers. Yeah, you know what? I don't think that's really much of a life lesson I need to learn today or ever. And honestly, like, even, even the flamethrowers and ice throwers aren't hitting me often enough to really be a problem. Because it procs all of my, um... It procs all of my damage resistance upgrades. And so, like, they're really not hurting me. I say as I then die. Damn. <laughs> I deserve everything that happened to me. But it's fine. We get a bunch of... We get a bunch of resources anyway. I'm having a good time with this game, but yeah, I, I got too bold. Dang, and I was like right at the end too. Oh well. It is fine. So do we want to get talents for this guy? No, I actually really don't like him. I think the cards are cool. Oh, this is new. Reduce excess damage taken when shield and armor is... That one's new and very expensive. She's good, especially this one. When Nona's knocked down, the Iron Wing will go revive her. That's... yeah. Yeah, we'll pick that one up. I should probably come back and actually, like, boost some of these guys. Elite Monsters will drop an extra sniper. Oh, right. This guy this guy is very much a sniper kind of dude. Which is not the most useful for me. I liked the monkey. The monkey was fun. I haven't played her yet. I'll have to come back to it. I'll have to see if I can actually, like, finagle some of my friends into joining me that, with this, too. Because it really is way more fun with a group. For now, though, I guess thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Hubris Simulator. Let's see if I can actually reach the end this time around, or if I'm gonna get bricks. Brick! Alright, so my entire goal here is to get two bricks, two very good bricks, and go pure brick build. That is my goal for this run. I will do nothing else. Well, I mean, I will chuck some grenades. But grenades are just explosive bricks, right? At least that's going to be what I pretend. But they are. Alright, I don't see anything else. I'm trying to be thorough about picking these up, because uh, I know I'm going to get some kind of schnasty comments from people being like, how did you miss that dungeon? And I will say, I don't know, it's just very easy to miss. Insufficient ammo? I guess I need more weapons. That's eh, fine. There we go. I don't... I really did not use my, like, Q, Q skills very often back when I played this the first time. Reduce damage taken, more damage dealt for 10 seconds whenever you consume 100 ammo. Oh baby, that's this character. Well, I actually don't know. The brick doesn't use that much ammo. But, it's fine. Alright, grab justice. Brick, and then justice. And dual wield. Yes! Oh, the brick turned gold too. And sparkly. I'm, I'm definitely going to have to get the requisite perks for extra explosions. Alright, so what do we got here? Well, dual wielding, double damage, but extra ammo consumption. Ooh, battle tested. Rate of fire and accuracy while dual wielding. When dual wielding ends, reduce the next dual wielding cooldown for every one second of remaining duration. What does that even mean? Oh, does that mean like I could cancel it early? Probably. I'm gonna go for the extra duration. Let's see, did we have anything else? Eh, maybe we did, maybe we didn't. I've actually got a decent chunk of ammo for this thing. A 
There we go. I... It's... I cannot be the only person that has done this build. I'm sure everybody else, when they saw the brick show up, were like, Oh yeah, this is like the thing that I must now do. Let's see, do we want to get rid of this? Yeah, sure. It's funny as it is to slap the lizard. Okay. I know there's definitely an upgrade that specifically makes it so I can eventually, um... Regen ammo while I'm throwing the bricks, and I really want that. Ah, five ammo per second. Well, dual wielding doubles the ammo recovery and grants you 20% chance to not consume any. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I don't like, really know how much ammo I'm going to be burning through here, but it's worth it. Lose a bunch of HP, get a scroll. I mean, it hurts. When reloading, chance to. Yep. Works for me. Sir, you're not allowed to be up there. Wait for the fire to stop. Okay, that that do be burning though. Unfortunately, I don't do much damage to horse. There we go. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not not particularly built yet for taking out those. Secondary skill capacity gets doubled. More grenades! Let's see, we go in that direction? Yeah, because this is the way we came from. I guess there's no reason for me to ever... Oh, right, I guess I should be breaking those pots. But I don't need to worry about ammo, like, at all now. It's nice. There we go. Who else do we have? A couple of beetles. Oops. Want nothing to do with those, though. Yeah, let's just go into the vault. Ooh. Okay. I mean, if it works, it works. If anything else, we have stairs. What? Going upstairs in this game? That's unusual. Is this a foe that I can fight? The answer is not really, no. I'll just be back here. I think this is safe. Yeah, this, this corner is out of the way. It's a shame they are not affected by the traps. But whatever. Oh, there's another enemy up there. Excuse me, sir. Stop that. Die. Alright, so while moving, faster you move, the less damage you take. I like that one. Elemental damage. Whenever an enemy hits you, spike that does corrosive damage. Damage is affected by max shield armor. Maximum... Ooh. I like the retaliation damage, though. I'm gonna go for that. Enemy hits me, they get spikes. I don't know how useful that's going to be. But that might com might be like the perfect uh, retaliation against those like flamethrower enemies. Just absolutely spike them to death and then some. Well, I mean, there's no reason why I shouldn't just be in dual wield every moment of this game. Because I have unlimited ammo, so why not, right? Oh, I also heal during this. I mean, battle-tested. 
We've already been in there. Grab the meta progression. Can I go up? Yes. Oh, and we also have a peddler. But the guy came back to double check. Six shot gains 80% damage, yes? 80% lucky shot chance. Lucky shot chance won't exceed 150%. I will take it. I didn't see another brick there. I probably should have been more thorough. Is there actually anything up here? No. Sometimes there is, sometimes there is not. Or there was a red chest in here too. But no, this this room was not as loaded as, as I thought it was. Or I've completely missed its uh, hiding spot. And I just don't want to spend forever looking. All right, so we're not quite ready to go chuck a brick at the boss's face. And I'm not entirely convinced that that's really the my go-to here. I mean, we need more bricks is kind of the thing. Horse has too much width. Uh, let's see, Aura Venom. Nah. Like, possibly good. It just doesn't matter. You need more brick. Okay, still cooling down. Unfortunately, I think I have to wait here. Is there a way that I can, like, piss off all of these guys simultaneously? Now, I think I actually have to shoot them. Fine, we'll use the machine gun. Okay, I guess I should be a little cautious. As I am slightly wounded. I do have self-heals, which is pretty... Pretty fancy in the moment. Okay, so it looks like the horse heads cannot block grenades. Which I guess is kind of probably supposed to be the point of them. I guess I guess we could not double brick, but if it gives it to me, I'm going for it. I'll just keep a brick as my secondary, and if I manage to get a better primary brick, then I'm going for it. Hello, sir. <laughs> Your existence was doomed for death. Alright, what are we looking at? Uh, primary skill cooldown upon casting a secondary skill. When within, not within 12 meters of monster, lucky shot chance up to... That's okay. Dormant bullet is really good. I'm going to go for Terrific Crossfire, mainly because if I do end up going double brick, uh, clip size is meaningless. Oh, he already dead. I have a lot of these. Holy shit. Smokes. I might want to invest in them just a smidge. Just for the hell of it. <laughs> Nothing... I don't know. There's something about just hucking endless grenades here. Okay, so the one problem is this is the spin dude. I think? I don't know, but he is dead. Wow, that, all right, that worked out. Lucky shot chance will do wielding. Lucky shot chance for one second upon triggering a crit, and lucky shot simultaneously. And then there's also grenade explosives. Boy, some of these are actually like really good.
Well, that's just explosion damage. Is that all explosions? Maybe. Because, yeah, what else do we have? Because that one's not bad. Weapon explosion damage upon killing an enemy. That one's pretty good. Dual wielding 3% weapon damage and lucky shot chance every half second with continuous firing up to 20 stacks. I don't know. Maybe we do actually invest a little bit into... Veteran and demolition more than gunfire. I have a lot of grenades. So let's go for the explosive radius first. How does this even work with dual wielding? I have to try it. Oh, it won't let me. Yeah, the problem is this brick is just bad. Oh. So I'm, I'm gonna get rid of it, and I'm just gonna cross my fingers and hope we find a better brick later. Midair Strike and Terminal Lucidity. So I can't get rid of those. But what do they do? Extra damage in the air, reset cooldown of all skills when losing 20% of total max HP in a single hit. Ouch. And we also have Bloody Drill, which I'm pretty sure is a sniper. Two grenades instead of one with no additional consumption. Uh, yeah. I said I was going to go for brick build, but this game has said, but what if b explosive brick build and I'm a weak man? I'm not sure if I can say no. Nah, I don't buy guns. I'm not going to upgrade either of these. So what does this one do? Oh, it like charges up then spitfires. Oh, it's a... Oh, it's a minigun. Oh, boy. Oh, we've trashed this fellow already. <laughs> oh, I am sorry, Brick. Okay. Total damage to grenades or explosive weapons. Deal damage to only one enemy. No. Grenade Master. So rainbow, ray locks onto nearby enemies. That's okay. What's this one? After using a weapon skill, 40% weapon damage and skill damage for 10 seconds after using a primary skill. I don't know, I'm gonna grab convergent paths. What? Oh, minus 20%. And both effects are active at the same time. The buff effect is doubled, and debuff is removed. I'm gonna try it anyway, because it feels like if that works, as hopefully intended... Oh, Kasana, not Katana. Nah. Cannot dual wield the Star Ring. Well, that's unfortunate. I was actually gonna say that that could be pretty cool, if I could. Because if I could specifically have, like, a defensive ring... Eh, no. Probably better to just go all in on gun. There? Uh, or... Rocks. Oh boy, those... Those elemental status effects are gonna get silly here. My shields don't last long when those guys are shooting at me, though, which is a little unfortunate. Excuse me. Thank you. All right, now, do we have anything else here? Because I'm always paranoid. The desert is, I think, the hardest spot to actually find the goodies. 
back to the demon lore. I don't actually know if I want it. Dang, I was, I, I was like really jonesing for the idea of dual brick, but I don't know, man. I think we are, I think we are brickless at the moment. And I'm not, I'm not betting on that changing, unfortunately for me. Why there be so many freaking rocks? Where's the, where's the next enemy? There you are. You cannot escape me. I guess I should probably just be chucking explosives. Because I think that's how I get the super bonus damage. Okay, so we've got two kind of useful things. Luxurious gift box, absolutely. Premium membership, yup. Uh, okay, so de demon lore is not actually that good. Oh, projectile plus 0.2 for every enemy killed. Oh. That's actually really good. That's really good. Still not worth it for me. But that makes this a better primary weapon. Okay, and supposedly we got a peddler up in here. Okay, immunity all damage after swapping weapons or reloading. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, don't be in the storms. Why are there so many traps here? I have no idea. This is the bad place. Okay, that got him. Okay, got the lightning, lightning lizard, and he is quite dead. Let's see. Reduce reload time, extra damage after reloading. After killing an enemy or destroying an item, extra weapon damage. Rate of fire and accuracy while dual wielding. I mean, I feel like overloading is probably worth it. What's this one? Extra skill damage after being hit or taking damage. Yeah, I like that. Hey, there it is. I knew, I knew it was going to be somewhere sneaky. But I'm going to be reloading, like, all the time. Oh, I need the extra AOE on that. Those dang grenades, man. I should just be lobbing this shit constantly. See an enemy? Lob a nade. I, yeah, I, I've got to go for some more, like, pure skill-based runs. Just because it actually feels like going status effects here works. Or not status effects, uh, like skill damage and skill abilities. Like, sometimes with these games, the skills are kind of like, eh, they're okay. And sometimes they're upsettingly good. By the tippy top of his hat. Where's the beetle? There it is. Oh. And no leet. I don't think there's another chest either. Persistence. Absolutely. Now all we really need is just the uh, super Healy perk. Which, like, it feels like it's bound to show up at some point, right? I hope. should also sell this. Unless I want it. You know what, actually? Let's get rid of demon lore. Good as it is, now we've got both lizards. 
I may not be able to do wield brick, but I can do wield lizards. This is really silly. Also, the uh, explosive lizard, I think it's some of my explosive damage bonuses. And I have so many bricks, or so many grenades that I should be able to just endlessly dump them. <laughs> it's me and the boys. Alright, there we go. Like, it's really... <laughs> it's absolute nonsense, but what else are we going to do here? Play normally? No. Why would I ever do that? The only... Oh, I have to right-click to... Trigger this boy. Isn't a problem when I'm dual wielding. Is slightly a problem here. Dang. Holy crap, he could have actually killed me. Okay, 10 seconds. Blazing hoop. Eh, blazing... Oh, cannot be replaced. That sucks. I should have just gone for it. Where's that chest? There it is. Alright, what do we got? Recover ammo to the magazine every second after dealing damage to an enemy. When it ends, lose... No. Lose ammo. Movement speed and damage when your shield or armor is zero. Doubles. I think I'm going to go for resolute. Uh, if only because I'm hoping I can do the convert shields into HP thing. That's really good on Doggo. I forget what this character's name is. I don't actually know. It doesn't really matter to me. Those rocks are impassable. Weird. Frustrating. There we go. Okay, do we actually have any more enemies? No. We do have a wolf gaze. I don't think I really remember liking wolf gaze that much. I'm really curious if the explosion radius actually affects my own explosives. I'm kind of hoping it does. Alright, what is this? Element damage always causes an elemental effect after swapping weapons. Yeah, I would have liked to re-roll that one, actually. I don't, I don't know if I have any re-rolls. Right, this looks like possible arena mode. Maybe. Oh, it's okay. I am... I'm a walking... Uh... Oh gosh, how would I even specifically word it? Like, I'm just a walking, uh, C4 depository? No, demolition stockpile? There we go, that's, that's about as close as I'm going to be able to get out of that one. Like, just everything is explosions. Excuse me, dog thing. You cannot do that to me. It is thunder? Nah. Sneaky blacksmith. The thing is, I don't care. Not until we actually have, I want to say, better weapons. Okay, nothing up there. A peddler in the distance, it might be. Or no, this is just where I came from. I have to check, just in case there's something sneaky. Because sometimes there's like a red chest or a, a portal or a peddler, uh, who knows what. Okay, lucky shot chance will do a wielding, do a wielding, 3% weapon damage, and lucky shot chance every half second with continuous firing up to 20 stacks, 5 stacks every half second when not firing, killing an enemy, or destroying an item. I mean, this one's just 
genuinely better. I think. I guess I have to kill an enemy to make it happen, but that seems reasonably common. I guess except for against bosses. That is the one downer. I am loving those ragdolls. They're very satisfying. Let's see, anything else? No, there's a smith. Right there, but still don't care. I don't have the... I don't have the good weapons yet. I actually kind of wish that this game... Almost, almost didn't have the plus weapons or any of those upgrades or any of that stuff. Just because it... It feels like I can't do anything with my equipment early on. Oh, there's a bandit gunner up there. Not anymore, there ain't. Ow. Boyo's hurt. Okay, what is this? Because I remember this being a decent weapon. Scorching rounds. You know what? I'm going to get rid of Slap of the Lizard. As fun as Slap of the Lizard is, it doesn't aim very well. And really, we're in a position... We're currently in a position where I should just be cycling a lot of my weapons. Oh, this one's fun. It's fun, but it does not do auto-fire. Which is a downer. There we go. I should get him now. There he goes. Aha, you fool. What did you think was going to happen? Explosive bullets. Weapons will cause an additional explosion upon shooting. Yet, yeah, exactly what I was looking for, and then some. Got a crack up here, too. Hell yeah. Unfortunately, that explosive shot only tr triggers every two seconds. Oh, but watching, watching the enemies explode and just ragdoll into oblivion is just the best. Oh, you survived that. I'm shocked. I get the distinct feeling dual wielding is slightly incompatible with chucking grenades. Oh well. Okay, let's pick that up. As much as I like scorching rounds, I need something that specifically works well with dual wield. Did I? I've probably missed like one or two chests here. I'd say I apologize, but I don't care too much. I'm gonna go for this. Extra lightning damage, immune to the effects of lightning. What I want is those perks that specifically make it so that uh, I hit myself with lightning. When I, like, when I apply shock to enemies, I apply it to myself, but I get the extra perk. I want that, but for like two elements. Cause I bet that'll, that'll get kind of wild. What is this, bow? No. Not on this boy. Alright, gob it. During dual wield, recover max HP when taking the first two. Nah, lethal damage. Yeah, let's just keep going for the damage and explosive damage. And it's boss time. Now here's the question, are we fighting the bird? Probably not. Peddler got first purchase does not cost any copper. I like those. Do we want to actually pick up a weapon? Overwhelmingly. 
I mean, like, I could get rid of Dual Fang. Nah, I'm good. And like, we could etch these boys, but I think I'm good. All right, worm or bird? Bird. That is a pretty birdie. Time to kill it. <laughs> if it has wings, it's bird. Don't question my logic here. I think we're just toasting this thing. There we go. Perfect. I still need some more defensive abilities, but I'll take what I can get. Come to my face. Unfortunately, I think they have to land before they... They join me. What is this one? Lucky shot chance after dodging. Well, I can't re-roll it, so sure, why not? One and two share mag capacity. One stack every second while firing, two stacks on hitting enemies, reloading, 50% number of stacks, max number of stacks equal to the shared magazine. Each stack is 0.75 weapon damage. Only problem is this magazine capacity is bad. Magazine capacity is fixed at 1. Extra weapon damage after reloading. When basic damage of current weapon is greater than or equal to the other one, reduced reload time. Basic damage of current weapon is less than or equal to the other one. Lucky shot chance. That's interesting. Well. Okay. Well, do wielding double damage, or mm, that's good, but I think I want this one. This is tempting, but I feel like going big nade actually is pretty good. Hopefully we can get that Healy perk. Otherwise, I'm going to die here. But all things considered, it's fine. Oh, I just have like infinite ammo capacity, don't I? Yeah, I don't, I don't think I like this Gemini perk. I'll have to look for something else. Oh, I've fallen and I cannot get up. I think it doesn't help that the... Well, I actually have no idea how the flamethrower is even working here. It doesn't quite have the range I'm looking for. Like, it does good damage. But it lacks that long range oomph that I think I need to survive here. Are the deuce? Oh. I was like, I don't think I can clear that. Not without a double jump. Oop. And, I mean, on the plus side, my grenade business is upsettingly good. Oh, Leak Cop has appeared. Cool. Alright, so what do we get? Illusion. Uh, Let's see. I'm gonna get rid of the woodpecker, I just don't care for it. Weapon damage, obtain one curse scroll for every three mysterious chests open. Cannot be discarded. 
Regeneration stops on taking damage. Maximum 50% of... I'll grab the Shrine of Recovery. I don't think I care for that one. Sorry, buddy. Alright. Do I want this? I think I don't. Some of those curse scrolls, like, there are builds where that can be good. Oh, here we go. This is this stuff. This is not the weapon combo I thought I'd be rolling with, but I'm not hating it. I do hate the enemies that cannot be killed for like a couple seconds after getting killed. That bit's kind of meh. Okay, let's pop in here. Grenades. I have no idea which one's real. There you are. Well, that was nice and easy. Alright. I don't know about airbag. I'll take the shield medic. I'll take that one. Uh, let's see. Star devoured? No. Do I want this? How does airbag even work? I feel like I need to try it for science, but I also feel like it could kill me. Trying it. I have some other regen anyway. All right, so airbag is, I think, actually bad. And probably will kill me. Well, you know what? I wish it specifically wouldn't do what it's currently doing out of combat. On the plus side, I might be slightly immortal now. We'll see. Now, I think I can get rid of it. I could be wrong. Okay, nope, that's not it. Here we go. Occult scroll. Airbag. Discard. I'm sure there's a, a very good build where airbag actually makes sense. Maybe. Like, and I could even be wildly misinterpreting how good it is, but it feels like I have to be losing my shields constantly. And even then, it just seems like I was going to be burning HP for no good reason. Uh, let's see. Bigger explosion radius? Yeah. We want that last one. I want that, but I want the biggest explosion and the biggest explosion damage. Because right now my grenades are actually, like, upsettingly strong. Alright, let's take a look at you. What do we have? Ah, Icy Spear with the spores, though, is not really what I'm going for. Look at Porcupine. Porcupine ain't terrible. Extra weapon damage if magazine is full. I might actually want the Cloud Weaver. Uh, nope. Nope. Uh. Okay. Bad time to be losing, or to be dropping my stuff. But yeah, that minigun slows me down a little bit. I really like the uh, the gun on my left. That one punches. 
Though I might still have some alternative options. Because, yeah, this one just kind of speeds up. I like the uh, floating knives, though, because they just shred whatever I'm pointed at. Okay, there we go. I'm still not sure if I like this spore as an, as an option, though. Spores have always felt a little eh on my end. Ow. Well, that's rude. I kind of needed that. Well, let's see. Kind of needed that revive for the next region. We might just not want to go to the DLC Frost Zone and actually get a win for once. But I don't see... I don't think there's a reason not to. should just be chucking these. They're going to be that mean. I might as well just give them what for. There we go. What do we have? That's a bow. And therefore not that useful. Converts to lightning. What? Frenzied Shark, Bouncing Grenade, Small Area Explosions upon being hit. Yeah, you know what? As good as these are... They're, they are awkward. Okay, please give me the health and explosives. Oh, right. Not this one. Lucky Shot. Reserve Ammo. Yeah, let's just go with that. Not that I'm currently using a whole lot of ammo for anything. But yeah, I think I do a bunch of extra explosive damage. Where are my foes? There they are. Boop. I know those guys can kill me. I was kind of hoping I could get to the point where I could chuck like three grenades or something. But I think my upper limit is two. And I really wish this game had like mod support or something. I know it's never gonna happen. Would it be fun? Do we have anything else over there? Got a bean paste bun. Or steam bun. Steam bun of some variety. Glad I checked. I think we're doing a turn. Okay, not seeing anything else. There's a little bit of a reason to come back. Not much of one. On the plus side, now that I've done that, my dual wield is off cooldown. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to have to try some of the other characters at some point. Uh, just because, much as I love the dual wield. Let's see. It does kind of limit me so that I'm not using my skills as much. And uh, turns out those skills are, like, really good. Especially if you spec into them even just a little. Who's behind me? Umbrella. the monks that are doing the big damage. Oh, is this a wave survival? This is another wave survival, ain't it? Ow. Whoa. Holy smokes. Yeah, watch out for the twin mortars. I guess I was standing in that fire for too long. Oh, that's fine. I'll beat this at some point. I'm having a good time, though. I think I just might have to not do dog. I, I don't know. I, I'm almost feeling like we uh, we go back to her. 
Especially with this. Now that we've maxed that out. Because, like, Owl was okay. I've never tried this character. I don't even know what they're about. The monkey was decent, but I think had, like, a more melee move. Same thing with the, the bird. I could go back to the cat at some point. But nah. We'll probably also start working on the fox. Because, yeah, that summoned mecha would also be super helpful uh, for weathering some of those hits. Especially because it'll tank for me.